everyone, it's Beth from Sweethearts and I'm here today with the lovely Bailey, who's five years old, aren't you Bill? Five. And we posted a picture the other day on Instagram and Facebook and it was like this kind of cool braided Viking look and everybody loved it. So, we're going to do the tutorial today, hope you like it as much as we do, let's get started. So to start this style guys, what we're going to be doing is like sort of sectioning off the hair and we want a strip of hair running through the middle. So I'll start off at the hairline and just use my comb and section off all the way to the nape of the neck. And then just pop that piece of hair into a ponytail and we're going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm just going to kind of twist this bit of hair out of my way and just clip it. So next we're going to do another separation of this hair. So I'm going to start at the top and just bring that comb in the same sort of arc shape down like that. And now I'm going to twist this bit out my way and just pin that to one side. Okay, next guys, we're going to be doing a little Dutch braid coming to the nape of the neck here. Now, if you find Dutch braids really tricky, you can do a French braid so you can decide. So I'm going to try and make it really quite little to start with. If you find that bit tricky, again, just take more hair at the front. It's still going to look cute. So I'm just going to start my little tiny Dutch braid with baby's, Bailey's little baby heads. Nearly called you baby then, boo. How <laughs> dare you! <laughs> And then just braid down and pop an elastic in. And then just take this out and we're going to do exactly the same, so a little braid all the way down to the nape of the neck. In case you're wondering how I've sort of managed to get the hair kind of fuzz free, I have sprayed a little bit of the dry wax spray before I started but you could also use like a soft uh, wax tub, um, a bit of detangler, some people like to sort of spray a bit of water before they start so it just kind of helps get that cleaner braid in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two braids together and I kind of want one sitting forward and one sitting back so I want to make sure that it's sort of not joined from here because then that one doesn't want to sit forward. I'm almost pulling them that way and then just popping an elastic in. So next we're going to take out this little elastic and then I want you to do the same part line as on the other side. guys totally optional but I'm just going to use a little hair cuff so you can get these from eBay or Amazon just google hair cuff I'm going to open it up and then just squidge it around that elastic last braid so you can decide on this last braid in some of my pictures I've done a pull through braid 
but today I'm going to do a really pulled out Dutch braid but if you wanted to do pull through that's no problem I have got loads of tutorials for that style so I'm going to be using on this section of hair rather than the sort of wax spray to make it all smooth I want this bit to be kind of big and textured and pulled out so I'm going to be using the spray clay for this bit so I'm just going to spray it through And just to add a little bit of volume to the bottom ponytail when we've done, I'm going to clip these in the crown area and then cover it up with the braid as I'm going. But that is optional. I just want the ponytail to be a little bit thicker at the end. Okay guys, so even though we're Dutch braiding, which is what we've just been doing, this is going to be a different kind of braid. It's going to be big and messy and pulled out, okay? But same technique taking those strands underneath okay so I'm going to start now and I want it to be messy I don't want it to be like this perfect braid so not only am I going to pull the edges of this braid to make it wider I'm also going to pull right at that center to try and get some height into the braid as well. So this is where my little extension was put in guys. So I'm just trying to make sure that when I'm taking that section of hair I'm really covering that up so you can't see it. So I'm just popping a little elastic in there guys. And then I'm just gonna go through, especially look from the sides and really start to pull apart this braid. I want it to be a complete contrast to these very smooth tight braids. And then I'm just going to cover up this little elastic by wrapping it around like that and then popping another elastic to sort of hold it down. And then this bit is optional guys, I'm just going to give this ponytail a little bit of a back comb to give it a bit more volume and I kind of want it to look quite textured and big. Okay guys, that is mine and Bailey's Viking video done. Should we do a spin boo? Let's do a spin. So thanks so much for watching guys, if you think that Bailey looks like a little viking please comment below and I will see you next Sunday for another video, bye!